everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Emma aka Flares and today this video is going to be all about entrances and these are entrances that have been created by the amazing Animal Crossing community and I cannot wait to show them to you I've got 15 different ones there's all sorts of themes maybe this will spark some inspiration for your own island I know a lot of people are currently racing to complete their islands so there's going to be new islands starting and what better way to start your new island than creating a fabulous entrance so here is some inspiration for you if you like this video and you want to see more animal crossing content please remember to click the like button and if you're not already subscribed why not join our community so let's get into the video so for entrance number one i've come to the island of blip Block, which was created by hazelnut underscore crossing over on Instagram and this is an autumnal island but she's gone for quite a structured entrance as you can see she's managed to fit quite a lot in on top of this lovely brick path and then over to the left we have her residence services so a great way to make use of the area if you've got a airport that's very close to residence services and then over the back here she's put some lovely water terraforming with the matching waterfalls and the bridge wow I can't believe she's managed to fit that in but I love it it really feels like an entrance somewhere where the community can be greeted etc I just really love it and the red trees all the browns really really nice for this time of year for island number two I'm on the island of Kuai created by Sherry Blossom underscore over on Twitter and this is a kind of a natural tropical island I really really love this entrance because there's not over the top terraforming it's quite open she's relied quite heavily on the trees and all the different kinds of trees and they look beautiful so she's got this lovely dirt path and then it feeds right back through to where her blathers tent is she's not upgraded it and it looks great and then over here you've just got the more natural area leading you off into the rest of the island for the front she has added in a few little cliffs here with a tiny little waterfall which is just adorable but this is just amazing i love the fact that she's used this water path with the little waterfall behind it i think that it's a great way to make use of the space because it's quite tight you don't have to worry about making sure that your water terraforming your pond is looking really really nice you can just rely on the path and it's really effective because you can put items on top of it so i really really love this whole vibe of this entrance but there's nothing to say you couldn't take kind of nodes from this and add it into your theme it's just a great open entrance and you can see how you can fill it with lots and lots of items next up i'm on the island of berry hill created by berry hill underscore acnh on instagram and this entrance i really wanted to show you because it's so picturesque look you can see her house very close up on the hill there which is very interesting i don't really see that a lot and then back here is quite a nice open area very close to a river and you've got the path snaking through she's even got a little teddy bears picnic which is very appropriate for her island and then up on the hill you come up to her house which is so nice that it's really close you've got easy access and it looks great up on the cliff there just overlooking the airport really really pretty as you can see I just really love the mix of the custom designs as well as all the flowers there's just so much going on here and it looks so gorgeous for island number four I'm on the island of clove which is a spring core kind of island created by Sammy underscore ACNH over on Instagram and this entrance is very interesting look at how she's created an island to house her entrance and then it's all surrounded by these lovely waterfalls she's got some items up on the cliffs which are beautifully decorated there's some rivers really really nice but the main feature is what's going on here if you look she's managed to snake her path through the middle which is this lovely green path lots of flowers some music 
items. We've got the nuptial bell and even a little picnic spot over here. It's just really, really adorable. And the pinks with the yellow, I absolutely love it. And there's a lovely looking statue overlooking the whole area. And then it's really nice because it creates a great way to flow through to the rest of her island, as you can see up here. It really is gorgeous. So thank you, Sammy, a fabulous entrance and definitely something that I think people could um, recreate on their own islands. For number five, we're on a winter island. I said I would bring you guys variety, so here it is. This is wonderfully created by alex.crossing underscore islands on Instagram. And this is very much a work in progress, her island, but she has completed her entrance. And look at it. Look at this wonderful code for the path that she's got. She's got a lovely little waterfall over to the right. And then we've got lots and lots of snowmen, lots and lots of trees. As you can see, this is also quite close to her resident services. So again, she's made great use of the space and just shows that you are able to kind of fit stuff in really nicely. We've got a nice little cafe area up there as well and boy you're going to need it to warm up after those cold snowy days. <laughs> but I love the time of day as well so you've got the lights on the trees. It's just really really nice to see a winter island and lots and lots of ideas here for you guys for the upcoming winter months. Next up, we're on the island of Honey Tree, created by Kira Elysia on Twitter. And as you can see, this area is really, really nice. I love all the oranges and the yellows. And it's not overly about the terraforming in this area. There is a nice little incline here up to the rest of the island but mainly it's about the little details that she's added in here. You can see the path, which is beautiful. She's got the steps on there. She's got lots of reefs and lots of flowers on the ground, custom designed, mixed with furniture items. She's got items under the mushroom parasol, under the wild log over there. She's got little bits of fencing. It's just, I love all of those little details. So if you're maybe scared about doing lots of terraforming at your entrance, don't worry, there are other alternatives available to you. Next up, we're on the beautiful and elegant island of Afterglow, created by afterglow.horizons over on Instagram. And I really love this area, it's so nice. The way that the nuptial bell is framed by the street lamps is just beautiful. It all feels very put together and really nice. The houses at the back here with the bridge in between is just genius and a nice little seating area as well. All the fountains, it really does feel like a lovely plaza, somewhere that I would love to kind of live, maybe visit even. And then over on the left hand side, on the right hand side, she's kept it symmetrical and she's got bridges leading off to the rest of the island. I really love the greys and the whites and the little hints of purple here and there. It's just really, really gorgeous. Definitely one to keep in mind if you're trying to recreate sort of a town or maybe doing an elegant core island. It's just a really great nice open area in at number eight we have the island of driftwood which was created by digni.crossing and she's working on an abandoned overgrown island which this is a perfect entrance for look how beautiful all the trees are you've got the utility items mixed with the natural items which is just so cool with the jail bars the utility poles the kind of industrial looking simple panels which are really really nice but what I like most about this island and what you can probably take away from this if you're not doing this particular kind of theme is the way that she centered the inclines and the fact that they're double inclines so she's done it so it's right up into the forest there but there's also nice ways to lead off to other areas of the island so really thought about how she's going to feed it off into the rest of the map how the island's going to flow 
but back down here I do really love the little detail she's added with all the flowers the custom designs particularly that fencing how nice is that fence custom design really helps achieve her theme the little bits of moss it's just all really wonderful and definitely fitting of her chosen theme for number nine, I'm on the island of Secura Bay, created by SecuraDoll.ACNH over on Instagram. And as you can see, this island is very pink and I absolutely love it. Look what she's managed to fit in in her entrance area. She's kind of sectioned off this area of the island and then she's added an incline up here and also she's added a bridge over here again it's quite close to her residence services so she's done a fabulous job in fitting all of these items in she's also got another incline here which gives you a nice way off to the rest of the island as well so she's really done a fabulous job with thinking about how she's going to make it flow how you've got all the different ways which lead off to the main entrance i really like the way she snaked the path as well adding in those pinks and it really flows with all of the flowers and the trees which are just beautiful at this time of year for number 10 i'm on the isle of crete created by the lovely nietzsche aka Al dot of dot crete over on instagram and she's gone for a spooky halloween style entrance and i love how close this is she's got a tiny little area near the front here with the fencing and the trees a few little pumpkins which are adorable and then you head over this bridge and you come to some more trees some more spooky elements and then bam you're straight at the plaza so again another really close entrance but i love the way that she's done something a bit different with the river flowing through the bridge she's managed to fit a whole bunch of stuff in here which looks beautiful i also just want to say about the path i absolutely love what she's done they're like stepping stones with custom designs over the top and it's just a really really effective entrance way and then you can lead off over here to the rest of the island get a snapshot as to what's up on the cliffs there just really really great and i can't wait to see the rest of this island because i think it's going to be a good one next up we're on the island of exploria created by exploria.acnh over on instagram and again look how natural this lovely island is she's got the lovely dirt path which snakes through and then over to the right you've got a bridge leading off to her nook cranny a beautiful river which snakes down here and kind of stops by the rocks which is really nice and a great way to finish a river if you want to incorporate one all the stepping stones are really nice as well where she's put the flower and the butterfly model and then over on the left we've got this gorgeous cliff with some stunted trees the variation of the trees is really nice with the different colors and tones and the different green on the bushes as well just adds something a little bit extra but overall this just feels like a nice open and natural entrance with lots of autumnal feels to it all the colors and pumpkins and weeds just lovely really well done Laura next in at number 12 we're on the island of Marigold created by Savarat Crossing over on Instagram and this is a gorgeous entrance it's like you step off the airport and you enter into a true farm a meadow type area I love how she's used so many weeds there's flowers there's stunted trees there's just so many little details here that are just absolutely gorgeous the natural dirt path runs really nicely she's even got some little waterfalls here with a lovely little stream flowing through the area how gorgeous is that lots of little farm details as well you've got like the garden wagon the barrels the cricket the hay bales i'm just in love with this the wind turbines also really help to frame the area as they add some nice height with the trees and the background as well you also also helps create that feeling so amazing entrance i really love this can't wait to see the whole of your island 
Next up, we're on this another autumn island, but this feels a little different. This reminds me a bit more of like grandma core, very antique -y, so I can't wait to show it to you. This is created by the Isle of Zoe over on Instagram, and look at all these amazing patterns that she's added in. She's got this nice open picnic area here with some cliffs to the right. She's got a stool with some goodies on. I just love picnic areas and I really like the way that she's incorporated it in to her entrance and the pathing is just so interesting as to what she's done here. A lot of custom designs and some interesting shapes as well. Really, really pretty and as you can see a closer look at the cliffs there on the right and then over on the left she's got a gorgeous little river that flows she's got the bridge over the top but I really like the way that she's added the tree in the middle to create like a little island I've just noticed those toys on a string how cute are they um, but I really really love this area it definitely has like a storybook feeling to it which is really really nice for number 14, I'm bringing you to the eerie island of Konoha, created by Nikki.ACNHParadise over on Instagram. And here we go, take a step into the darkness. This is so cool, the way that it's all town feeling and you've got the moon at the top, but there's definitely that dark feeling to it with the dark fencing, this lovely custom design on the ground and the dark furniture. These cutout standees are really nice. I like the way that she's utilized them with the waterfalls in the background and they're kind of like a doorway into the island. And then over here, you've got some seating areas. It's just really nice, very open, easy to navigate and it looks really effective. Very kind of spooky but the entrance way with the pathing is really great. You could obviously mix it up. She's kept it quite simple with the green, the black and the gray, which is really kind of effective. Really great use of color here. And it looks great when it's raining. <laughs> And finally, for number 15, I bring you to the island of Chocoland, created by Lucy.Crossing. And for her entrance, she decided to go for a orchard, which is so cool. Uh, you've got the fruit trees on the lower level, and you can see the apple tree up on the back there, which is really nice. And then you've got lots and lots of details here with the fruit crates, the boxes, and also lots of barrels, which I'm obviously a fan of. I just really love how it looks with the foreground and she's chosen a really, really nice path. So she's got some cliffs over here. So there is some more fruit details as well. And over on the left. So she's kind of created like a bit of an L shape to enclose in her orchard. And then she's got a river over here leading to the rest of the island, which is really, really nice. Lots of waterfalls, very pretty. Um, but again, what a nice way to have such a theme for an entrance. Really, really nice to see. Wow, I needed a sit down after all of those wonderful entrances. So here we are back at mine. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope they helped. Remember to check out the wonderful creators. All their details are in the descriptions. And for those that have got permanent dream addresses, I'll include them as well. So if you want to go take a closer look at that islands, you can do that. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you again soon with another video. Bye bye.